The MBC20 ball head from Leo Photo is a lightweight and extremely versatile inverted Arca Swiss style ball head that's a phenomenal tool for any photographer like myself or videographer looking for a reliable mounting option. In addition to its own unique features, when you combine this ball head with a tripod collar and magic arm, you get a mounting system that's lightweight and offers a number of use cases. Let's jump in, we'll take a look. Hey guys, Paul here with Patek. If this uh, little ball head isn't the coolest piece of kit that I've come across in a long time, I don't know what is. This is the MBC20 from Leo Photo, and I have a couple of their products. I actually have one of their ball heads on my main tripod here uh, I'm shooting on right now, but I've also got one of their collars uh, on this tripod here. So what I'm going to do is show you the benefits, features and benefits of this ball head, how amazing it is. I mean, I just love it. It's super lightweight. I'm going to go through all the specs first, get that out of the way, and then I'll actually demo the ball head on the uh, tripod here so you can see for yourself whether this is something you want to add to your kit. Um, but I can tell you right now, I highly recommend this thing. So let's jump in. We'll take a look. So the ball head itself weighs 105 grams or 3.7 ounces, making it super lightweight. Its max load is 8 kilograms or 17.6 pounds, which is not too shabby. To put that into perspective, my A7 IV with a small rig full cage and a 50mm 1.2 lens weighs 4.3 pounds. So this tiny ball head will handle that load with ease and then some. The best feature of this ball head for me is its lever lock design, making it quick and easy to set in position. In addition, the ball head features a knurled knob to clamp your camera in place and a second knob to allow 360 degrees of rotation. The two most interesting features of this ball head are its diminutive size compared to its payload. Then when you look at how it folds down into itself to support heavier loads, it really is a great design. Okay, so how did I come across this uh, nifty little ball head? Well, uh, some time ago, I bought the Leo Photo LH55, and I've got a video on that on my channel. I'll put a link to it here for you. But uh, this thing is uh, really right stuff knockoff, and I'm telling you for half the price. And so I, I, you know, started looking around their website, some of the other stuff they have, and that's how I stumbled onto this ball head. And the interesting thing about the ball head, I haven't mentioned it so far, is that when you turn the knob, it comes with its own little Arca Swiss plate, which is fine. Uh, most of the time I don't use it. And there's another key feature that you should be aware of. And that is the bottom platform for this uh, ball head is a 3816 mount, which is, you know, the heavy duty between quarter 20 and 3816. And that can be taken off. So that if I just want to go to something that's quarter 20, like what I've got here, I can do that fairly easily. So the first thing I thought I should show you, and that is when I was talking earlier about the Leo Photo MBC20, I mentioned that you combine it with a magic arm and a tripod collar clamp, and you've got a really powerful system. And so what's probably the, the base of this system is the collar clamp, and they come in different sizes compared to, uh, corresponding to the size of the legs on your tripod. I think these are 32 millimeter legs, so I got a 32 millimeter clamp. But if you look on the front of this thing, you can see it's got a quarter 20 mount hole or a 3 8 16 here, so it covers a wide range of options. I was actually trying to get a Leo Photo Magic Arm because the Leo Photo Magic Arm has two notches on either side, so unlike the small rig where this thing you're going to put it on and it, it may have a tendency to loosen off or what have you, uh, the Leo Photo won't do that. But, you know, due to shipping situations right now, um, I think that part is sitting in transit. So I digress. But uh, once you mount your collar on here, then you've got a, a wide range of options that you can do. And, and so the first thing is you can take your uh, magic arm and screw it in here. And I would use a pair of pliers to tighten it up because it has a little piece of foam on either end of it here and then just loosen off your magic arm and we can set our camera on top. So now we put our ball head on top of that. And now we're really off to the races. So the next thing I want to do is I'll mount the camera and show you the range of motion that you can have. 
So now let's get our camera mounted on the ball head. So now everything's mounted up. If I loosen my gold dial here, I've got 360 degrees of free rotation, you know, which is just awesome in itself. But now if I loosen the lever lock for you and I drop this down, now you can see how this thing is really working. So here's the, this is probably the most unique feature where the ball head folds down onto itself to support a tremendous amount of weight, uh, which is great. And it's actually acting as a gimbal here. You'll see how it moves back and forth and gives you that kind of gimbal effect. Not that I'd recommend you using it as a gimbal for wildlife photography or anything like that. But, uh, and then in this particular mode here, if I tighten this up, just snug this up, you wouldn't need to shoot down on something for macro photography or such what this thing is going to do a fantastic job for you it really is i mean this is just a genius piece of kit in my humble opinion so we'll bring it back up and then again you know locking in place with a lever lock that's that's what makes this thing so fantastic is just it's so easy to reposition the ball head and give you access to the shot that you're after so i almost forgot that I actually bought one of these little adapters from Leo Photo, which is a CF9, and I'll put a link in the description for you. But the CF9 has the two notches on the bottom here and a 3816 uh, thread in on the bottom. So when I put this thing in here and tighten it up, I put it into the collar and snug it up. It is not going anywhere. It's not going to turn. So it gives you a rock solid connection. And then I'm going to use a little adapter, just get my camera a little bit further away. Uh, from the leg and then I can screw in my ball head here like so and let's release the lever lock here so I can get my camera mounted and then I can bring the camera up like so And I'll turn the gold knob like so, and I've got all this range of motion here. I can also uh, release the lever lock, turn this like so. And now you've got a fantastic range of motion if you're doing some kind of macro photography or what have you. And so let me show you um, another uh, advantage of this particular setup. So now I've got the same setup. I've got the Leo Photo CF9. I've got my extender and I'm going to put in a quarter 20 to a quarter 20. Just snug that in like so. I'm going to use a little Leo Photo, or sorry, not Leo Photo, but a Neewer ball head because it has the quarter 20 extending from it. Just snug that in like so. Loosen this around here. And now with this little uh, adapter from Vajim, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly, but I can thread that uh, onto the ball head. Like so, loosen this up. And now I've got a slick little mount for my iPhone. You can also get an adapter from Leo Photo that uh, will mount your iPad mini uh, as well. So just a fantastic piece of kit. So the last use case that I thought I'd share with you is I'm using the collar clamp and the magic arm and I wanted to be able to mount my GoPro. This is the Grande extension arm and uh, it didn't come with a quarter 20 threaded hole in the bottom of it. I just took a tap and threaded it in there and it seems to work just fine. So I screwed on the end of the magic arm, but I found this summer I was doing a lot of shoots where I'd be taking pictures of something, but then I was doing a kind of a tutorial situation where I wanted to have a camera on me. And so I wanted some way to mount the GoPro um, to do a talking head thing. But um, so, you know, this uh, whole architecture uh, with Leo Photo, starting with the collar, the magic arm, even though it's small rig, I'm, uh, I'll probably come back at some point and do a video with the Leo Photo magic arm if I can get my hands on one. They're in high demand at the moment. But uh, the combination of the MBC20 and the collar clamp 
and a magic arm is just a phenomenal toolkit and super lightweight too. So I uh, highly recommend this thing. So I think I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. If you found this video useful, by all means, hit the subscribe and like button. I really appreciate it. That helps me out a lot. And in case I didn't mention it earlier, this is not a paid review. All this stuff I paid for myself. So Leo Photo didn't send me anything. I purchased this with my own money. I purchased this guy, all these bits and pieces. So yeah, so it's a straightforward review with no bias. And uh, thanks again for watching. And by the way, it's two weeks from Christmas. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will see you in the new year. Take it easy and we'll see you soon.